away? Put what away? Your camera. You want to put yours away? Get away from me now. I'm gonna Get away from me head. now. Don't be filming Get that. away from me now. You make us feel uncomfortable. Can you please leave? Your cameras are making me feel uncomfortable. Can you shut them off? Can you please leave? No. Don't film me. What do you mean don't film you? Why would you even talk to me then? Get away from me now. Go ahead, if you want to. Oh, here, I'm coming. How'd that feel, buddy? How'd it feel? I'm gonna wait till he's gone. Oh, well, that's gonna be a long time. Really? At this Why are you such a boss? Here's the feelings police for you. They'll straighten you out, no worries. Can I get your name and number so that I can explain to my boss that I'm, I'm being taped? It's, it's uh, digital, it's not tape. My name's right here. I feel threatened by you. You have pepper spray on your thing. Mm -hmm. That's for my protection. Yeah, okay. What do you, so you make me feel uncomfortable. I don't know if you're going to take that out. You spray in here. And Did you subside their feelings? I think we got it under control. Oh, uh, well, I already had it under control, man. You know What's that. What's going on, everyone? This is Press NH Now over here today in Springfield, Vermont at the state office building. Today we're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit to see if they respect our rights to film here in public. Today's date is August 24th, 2022. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all your support. Also check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button, let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England states. Always check the description, all links will be included. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England area. We're going to get right to it here, guys. Do a tour of the building. Enjoy the video. Okay. Department of Health. No, I think I'm all set for now. I'm sorry? I'm all set for now. Thank you. Okay, because we can't have... this. These are clinic rooms, so we aren't allowed okay. to let people just wander back there. Back where? Here. This is a lobby, isn't it? it no, this is a clinic room. Yeah, so it's a lobby, medical, right? Yeah, I understand. So for wait, yeah. Yep, thank you. Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm sorry? Put what away? Your camera. You want to put yours away? <laughs> I know the irony, right? If you shut off yours, I'll shut off mine. Right above your head. Don't buy into it, Lynn. Yeah, don't buy into it, Lynn. <laughs> Smart girl. Don't give me directives on it. 
you won't have to buy into anything. Silly goose. You're gonna tell me to shut off my cameras. The audacity. Department of Children and Family Services Division. Security cameras in use at this facility. You are correct on that. No, I'm all set for now. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm recording, taking for pictures. For what? What do you mean? For what? Why are you taking pictures? Because I want to. That's all. Okay. Yeah. But no, you don't need to do this. Do what? You're not taking pictures in here. I'm not in there. You can leave. What do you mean I can leave? This is a public building. But you don't need to put, take recorders in here. I'm not inside. You don't need to take it. You I'm in a public area, thank you. Out in here. Oh. You cannot record. The There's no expectation. Stuff in then here. you should probably cover that up, wouldn't you? You need to leave. No, I won't leave. Okay. You're not going to tell me to leave. You need to leave the office if you don't have an appointment. Please. No, I don't think so. I pay taxes, too. Would you like me to call the police? Go ahead, if you want to. I'll hear I'm coming. You should probably go cover up some personal information. You so need I, to leave, please. No. I'm working. You don't need to film in here. Ma'am, you're not going to tell me what to do. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. You? Good, you? Can I have her name, please? What's her name? Hey, can I help you? Uh, no, I'm all set. Okay. Thank you. Can I have her name, though? What's your name? It's right here. Oh, well, yeah. that's nice. Can I have yours? Sure, Carolina. Awesome. What's your position here? Um, I, I don't know what, why you're asking. Well, it's public interest. Okay. What kind of public interest? What is your name? Your position? What kind of public interest do you have? I just asked you your question. Okay. What is, you gave me your name. What is your position? I, I will not give you my position to why? I know your name. Why? Are you ashamed of it? No, not at all. Then why wouldn't you? Yours? <laughs> not at all. Okay. So why not? No, you it's for ignorance like you. I don't think that's your actual name. I know, it's ignorance. Okay. I, I show the same respect. So if you don't want to give me your position, I'll give you the same respect back. So... Fairfield Police Department, Dispatcher Morris. Hi, this anyway. is Pat from, can you shut my door, from uh, DCF. I'm sorry about that. Okay. I'm, I'm calling the police. Is that I, I'm sorry, ma'am, go I, ahead. I work for Family Services here, 100 Manual Street. We okay. have a, an individual here that will not leave our office. He's videotaping and he's, yeah, creating a star here. Uh, is he inside your office? Yes. Okay. Well, not inside the office. He's in the lobby, but people were in there, and we have some kids crying, and so... <laughs> okay. He, All right, he so he's in the lobby of the DCF office. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have him up there, Pat. Thank you. All right, bye. Are you guys doing something wrong here, or...? What? Are you guys... Uh, no, I mean, you, you are pretty intimidating. You're uncomfortable. I am? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, you come in with you come in with a camera. You don't share your name. Yeah, I don't need to. Yeah, you work for me. You work for me, that's why. Okay. And because of the ignorance that she showed, tell me I can't video record in a public building? I can't. I can't? No, this is not your public building. Oh, of course it is. It's, it's the state of Vermont, which is the taxpayers' money. Okay. Yeah, okay. we pay for this building, including your salary. Okay. Yeah, I think you have it twisted. You don't get a job. Yeah, well, this is my job. Oh. That's real professional. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the transparency. Huh? No, I think you've shown exactly what I came here for. Okay. Yeah. So, do you have can a business you, card? Can you please not? Do you have a business card? There, we have private information. Then you should cover that up. Okay. You talk about HIPAA, right? The onus is on you for the privacy. You have to cover that up, not me. That. You'll be in violation if I get it, not me. Okay. So you should probably do that if you're so concerned about it. Well, I'm concerned about your, your, how you're acting. You make me uncomfortable. Well, that's too bad. Me, me, my taxes are threatening. My, my taxes that I pay for this building is concerning. I'm threatening you? You said I threatened you? What, with what kind of threat? My, just my presence alone is a threat to you? Oh, that's really sad. 
You should probably call the phalanx police then. Maybe they could subside that failing for you instead of the law, you which you should probably know. That you, aren't, that you make us feel uncomfortable? Well, then maybe you should go to the private sector. I would bet you wouldn't last there, though. Got a nice cushy job here in the AC and state you funds. and. Feel uncomfortable. Then walk away. Can you please leave? No. I'm asking you to, to please leave. And I'm going to respectfully decline. You don't have to engage with me anymore. You've already shown your true colors and not given me any transparency with your position. I'll pull your salary and everything. I'll make it public. So, sure. And then we'll see how much our taxes actually pay for the services you're not providing. You're making people feel uncomfortable here. Well, that's too bad. Your cameras are making me feel uncomfortable. Can you shut those off too, please? You make us feel uncomfortable. Can you shut off your cameras? They're making me feel uncomfortable, ma'am. You make us feel uncomfortable. Can you please leave? Your cameras are making me feel uncomfortable. Can you shut them off? No. I'm not done here yet. My camera is making you feel uncomfortable. That's pretty sad. Ask me to leave a public building, huh? No. So there's the call, guys. And it's Springfield PD who doesn't even have jurisdiction in this building. The state police are actually the ones who have jurisdiction here, so. Do you have a business card? Can, you please Can I have each one of these business cards, please? Can you please leave? Yeah, after I get one of these business cards. I'm not gonna give them to you. You're not going to provide a business card to me? Not. Why not? Mm -hmm. That's for my protection. Yeah, okay. Well, do you, so you make me feel uncomfortable. I don't know if you're going to take that out, be spray in here, and make this uncomfortable. Through a window? Yeah. Do you, do you hear the logic that you're speaking of? Why would I do such a thing? Why would I do such a thing? Can I have a business card, please, and I'll leave? Okay, well, I'd like to have a business card. We will treat with respect, and we expect the same in return. Yeah, I think you have that backwards. Can I have a business card, please? I'm not going to give you... I'd money. like to pull some public records. You are... I feel threatened by you. I want you to leave. Okay. Well, I'm not leaving, and the police are not going to make me leave either. And I'll be right back when they leave. Okay. They'll leave before I do. I guarantee you that. Right. Oh, I'll be back for a business card. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Need a call to test. Springfield PD. They don't even have a second shift. They're so low on staff right now. I wonder how many units will come. Oh, two units. This is a state building. State police have jurisdiction. How you doing, sir? Can I get your name, badge number? How are you? How you doing? Don't dox me. You just approached me? Yeah, I know I did, but you're oh. here for me, so. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing in the state building? You have no jurisdiction here. Sure we do. No, you don't. You have absolutely no jurisdiction here. Why don't you get out of the building? Call state police. Mm -hmm. Have them do their real job. Oh. What's your name? My name's Officer Fitzgibbon. You got a badge number? Well, we don't have badge numbers here. ID number? Serial number? 610. 610. I heard you don't have a uh, second. I heard you don't have a second shift. We don't have a second shift? Yeah, what's going on with that? Your staff. Yeah, we don't have coverage in the overnight hours right now. Really? Who's covering? Uh, the state. State police sheriffs? Yeah, I figured. Yeah, that's too bad. Nobody wants to work in Springfield? I don't know. Uh, maybe good cops are, you know, don't want to be in Springfield with the corrupt ones. Maybe. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things. What's your name, badge number? Officer Perkins. Perkins. You got an ID number? Again, we don't have badge number. No ID, serial number, badge number? Nothing? 
said mine's 610. 610, so what's oh, yours? Oh, you're 613. 613. 613. Yeah. I, I asked you that. Are you hard of hearing? I or? asked for my badge number. ID number, serial number, it's all the yeah, same difference. Yeah, don't play semantics with me, dude. You know better. You want to go in there and talk to them, or? Should I put them in check like I already did, or should you? Well, I can probably talk to them. Yeah, I suggest you do that. Because they tell me I can't be cool with all their cameras in here. You know, the irony is just real, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's pathetic. Sad. Not quite sure what happened until we talked to them. Oh, you know what happened. You know what I do. Yeah, I know what you do. Come on, dude. Just tell them I can record and go on your way. Sure, you have a lot of calls out there. Hi there. Oh, here's the failings police for you. They'll straighten you out, no worries. So the state police are covering second shift. They have no second shift here in Springfield, Vermont. Could only imagine why. Do you feel better now? Did they subside your feelings? The feelings police? Did you subside their feelings? I think we got it under control. Oh, I already had it under control, man. You know that. All right. Oh. I'm not going to touch their property, no worries, ma'am. There's cameras all around the building, including mine. But you have the audacity to tell me I can't record, huh? Have a good rest of your day. You too, man. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate it. Why, uh, why isn't anybody taking second shift, man? I'm a little curious on that. Don't know. I'm a little worried about that. Oh, that's okay. You did? Okay. Just didn't want the door to close. How'd you like the last video? Did you watch it? Uh, I saw it. You guys didn't do too bad. Not too bad. You know? I mean... I didn't I, agree I, with I, all your commentary. You what? You what? I said I didn't agree with all your commentary. No, weren't you the one that um, asked me for my name like three times? Uh, probably a couple times. Yeah, I think it was you, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know better than that, man. But I know, I know, and I know after a while you guys are going to find out who I am, which I have no... I have nothing to hide. So I can care less, you know? Fair enough. But, yeah, man. You too. Let's see how the other officers handle it, huh? That's only the second one I went in. You might get another call, dude. You know, you guys can just call in and just tell the reporting party, look, we don't have time for this. You know, he can record, leave him alone as long as he's not in a restricted area. You don't have to come out, man. Yeah, well, it, we have a policy that we have to respond, so. No, you don't. You don't have to respond to every call, man. I've had cops drive by and just leave and then call reporting parties, man. Come on, don't give me that. No. You know? You got a new vehicle? Yep. Nice. But you can't get a second shift officer to play, uh, to, to work, huh? Damn, you got a call number? What's that? You got a call number so I can uh, pull the records? Oh, uh, hold on, I can get it. You a newbie? What's up? You a newbie? I've been here for a while. Have you? Okay, case number. Case number last four, three, eight, eight, two, thirty, eight, eighty-two. That's a two-two, right? That's a two-two. In the beginning, I got it. Okay, you good? Yeah, I hear you guys. All right. Yeah. All right, man. Have a going. Appreciate you. What did you tell him in there, anyway? Just for transparency, what did you tell him? I'm allowed to do what I'm doing. Yeah. Kind of just break it down. Yep. Awesome, man. Down. Yeah, she said uh, she felt threatening because of my pepper spray, and she thought I was going to spray her through the window. Yeah. Come on, dude. It, it, <laughs> I'm going to spray her through the window. Yeah. It's the office that deals with kids, so they're a little... Uh, ha have you not heard about what happened in New Hampshire with that little girl and the Department of Health and Human Services and all the bull playing around over there? Yeah, Come on, man. Totally up on it. You know? So that's the reason why I'm in there, you know? But the audacity they have to tell me I can't record in there and then, oh, there's privacy and everything. Turn it over, man. I know you told them as, to turn it over. As you know, a lot of people don't know. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here to educate, bro. There you go. Thank you, man. Be safe. Appreciate you guys. Have a go, man. So there you go. Springfield, Vermont Police Department.
you learn anything today? No. Uh, what they tell you to screw? How'd that work out for you? Get back to work, lady. Can I ask what you're doing while you walk around filming everything? I'm just curious. I'm just recording in a public building. I don't oh. know. Yeah. I didn't know if you were working for somebody who made a job or... I work for myself, but yeah, I also work for the people. Oh. Yeah, I just caught her on their phone playing. She got tax dollars, man. Paying her to play on her phone. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, I catch them in the act, you know, not working. All that. How do you do that? Good stuff. Because we pay their salary not to play on their phone and. Yeah, but she's gonna help me in a minute. She's not a problem to me. I don't understand why you're. Yeah, no. There's no problem with anybody, really. No. I mean. Don't film me. What do you mean, don't film me? Why would you even talk to me then? All right, I'll stop talking to you, but stop filming me. That's my right. It's your right for what? Don't film me. I'm telling you not to film me. This is a public area. You have no expectation of privacy in public. All right. They're going to explain to you in a minute. I tried, but go ahead. You're going to film me doing my business here at this counter. Really? Does he have the right to do that in this building? We're gonna wait till he's gone. Oh well, that's gonna be a long time. Really? At this? Why are you such a butt? What why do you mean? Are you like that? Why am I like what? What do you? That's why I want to know. Are you working for? Somebody? Why would you even talk to me if you didn't want to be on camera, dude? Think about that logic. Just do your thing and go about your business. I didn't even say anything to you. Arc mechanical contractors. Do you have a business card? Do I? No. No. Can I get your name and number so that I can explain to my boss that I'm, I'm being tape? It's, it's digital. It's not tape. My name's right here. You like that? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, can I have a business card? Springfield Police Department, Dispatcher Morris. Yes. Who is this again? This is Dispatcher Morris. Dispatch, dispatch Mora? Morris, M-O-R-R-I-S. All right. I just wanted to make sure who I was talking to. My name is, I'm standing at the DMV down here on Merle Street and whatever it is. Okay. I just need to ask a couple questions. There's a guy standing in there as I'm trying to renew my license, and he's filming me. Okay. Right let me have you room. talk right with an officer, okay? Thank you. Hello, it's Officer Fitzgibbon. Yes. Again, who is this? Officer Fitzgibbons. Fitzgibbons. This is. I'm standing down here at the DMV, and I was getting my license renewed. Mm -hmm. And there's this guy standing here. I'm just asking a couple of questions, please. And he's standing here, and he's filming me mm -hmm. right in my face. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm saying. And I said, "Stop filming me." He yep. says, "I have the right to do whatever I want." I said, "No, you don't." Okay. Am I wrong by saying that? Well, uh, he, if he's in a public place and filming, he is able to do that. Um, by him saying that he has the right to do whatever he wants is not necessarily the case, but he is he is allowed to film in a public place. He's allowed to film in the public place, even yeah. though he's filming individuals specifically. Right. I mean, he's right in my face looking right at me and got the camera sitting right in my face. Mm-hmm. That, that I don't feel is uh, an infringement on my rights. Well, unfortunately, if you're in the public, in, you know, in the state office building, in the public place, um, they're able to film. All right. I just, I just was confirmed by a maintenance guy. He said, don't even, don't fart around with this guy. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to stand here and take that. Mm -hmm. And that's what my problem is. And I just wanted to ask a few questions. Yep. Because I have everything in the world to lose, Sergeant. He looks like he doesn't have a thing to lose, so if I attack him, I'm going to go to jail. That would not be that's a good true, idea. That's right? He's looking for a reaction, and the more reaction you give him, the, the more he will stick around. And he did. So, yeah. And I was only talking with him, telling him to go away, get mm -hmm. out of my face. Yep. But the more I did that, the more he got in my face. Exactly. 
I don't understand this, sir. I, I 20 years in the military, come back. I'm a respectable, you know, citizen in this town. Mm-hmm. Got a job, got a ham, you know, house and a family. Mm-hmm. And I got this piece of crap doing this, and I got to put up with it. Yeah, I don't understand that. Where are my police who protect and serve the public? Well, so is he is he still standing right there? No, he left. Okay. And I should have taken a picture of him because then I'd give that to you too. I'd drive down there and give it to you. Well, I know exactly who it is. We've already been up there oh, and chatted with him. Who it is. Yeah. Um, and that's so that's what he does. So the First Amendment says that the citizens can, you know, check on the government. They can record in public places, public buildings, um, posting the video on YouTube. And then people watch it on YouTube, and the more people so, the more people react, the more interesting it is, the more he tries to push their buttons and get them to do something all right so and plus I'm standing here in my company shirt, company vehicle mm-hmm. now he's got my company on film granted i I toned down a little bit because i I'm not going i'm not you're not going to put cuffs on me because I'm trying to you know stand up to somebody. Yeah, but I just I wanted to know. I needed to hear it from somebody that's got a badge that this guy had this right to do this. Yep. And that that I'm lack of better words, Sergeant. I, that's crap. That's see, he's going to find himself laying in a ditch somewhere sometime. Well, you never know. That, that's crazy. But uh, all right, I just needed to hear it from law enforcement that he had the right to do that. Yep, and he does. And we're aware of him. We've, wow. like I said, we've already spoken to him once this morning and been out to see him. All right, then. So, all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Good luck. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, what they tell you, Darren? You call the police? They already well, came he, and gone. He already said that. Yeah, I know. I told him to screw just like you're getting screwed now. Let me show you the boy with Bye, buddy. Hey, do not call ARC Mechanical Contractors. You snowflake. Hey, you dismissed just like the police were. Go ahead, call the cops, because I'll smash that phone. You got right in your hand. Yeah? You ain't allowed to photocopy me, motherfucking phone. Go ahead, free me. I can't. Touch me. I'll touch, touch me. you. Get away from me now. I'm going to beat your head now. in. Don't be filming Get that. away from me now. Why? What are you going to do? Get away from me now. I'll you don't stop. Shit. If you don't stop coming towards me, you're going to get sprayed. Go ahead, spray me. Get away from me. Come at me again. Spray me. Don't come at me, dude. Don't come at me, bro. You're going to threaten me now, huh? Oh, I'll f***. Go ahead. Don't come at me, bro. Get away from me now. Get away from me now. Don't come at me, bro. Are you serious? Dude, you come at me again. You spray me again, I'm going that way. You better go that way. Go that way now. Get away from me now. I warned you. I warned you. Call the ambulance or the police. I'll call them for you. I'm not following you. I never even approached you. I told you don't come at me like that in a threatening manner. And now you got sauce, buddy. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'm not following you. Yeah, only if you come at me like you did, I will. You don't come and threaten a camera guy. Now he's threatening me.
I wasn't even filming. I wasn't even recording him. How'd that feel, buddy? Get away from me, bud! And I'll beat the Get away from me, buddy! 600 units responding to 100 Mineral Street. I'm now got a second call from 911 indicating he is threatening people. Oh, is he gonna indecent exposure now? Yeah. Oh, I am? Yeah. Oh, that's you, buddy. Yeah. Oh. You can't even fight without using pepper spray. Springfield Police Department, dispatch a Morris. Hi, Brian Walbridge, Springfield Police mechanic here. Yes. YouTube YouTube guy just made somebody in front of the building. Oh, all right. We'll have somebody right up there. 600 608. Request for officers Three to the state office complex. Male subject up there that was filming has just maced somebody Back outside again, huh? the building. Huh. I don't know. No scanner this time, huh? What's that? No scanner this time, huh? Going off record? What do you mean, no scanner? I didn't hear the scanner go off. Uh, we were dispatched here, but what's going on? I don't know. What's going on? I don't even know why you're here. I've been outside for like 15, 20 minutes. Gotcha. We got a report that somebody got pepper sprayed here? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so did that happen? I don't know. I don't answer questions. You didn't, did you pepper spray somebody? Did they report it? That's what was reported. I don't know. I'm not answering any questions. Okay. Well, there is video on the facility, so we yep. can just try to get your side of things before we talk Yeah, well, if anything, it was all self-defense. It's all on video. You have cameras out here, and I got mine, so... And, and do your investigation, bud. Right, that's what we're trying to do right now. It's on top of you first. I have every right to defend myself, especially when somebody's threatening to run me over and come after me with threatening gestures several times. Right, that's why I'm talking to you to see what your side of the story and what happened. Well, there you go. Is that what happened? That's pretty much what happened, yeah. Okay, somebody threatened to you? They threatened to me, run me over, and came at me about five or six plus times before I warned them several times to get away from me. In a threatening gesture with hands, fists, closed. Okay, so they still get you punched if you pick you? He came within arm's reach. Within arm's reach? Yes, sir. Did he actually hit you? No, sir. Okay. All right. Nope, because I pepper sprayed him. Where did this occur? Right here. Right here? Yep. All right. And just because it is an ongoing investigation, right, there wasn't going to happen. Can I just get you? No, sir. You know, you know who I am. Come on. I know your first don't play games, don't dude. Come on. I'm not here to play games. You know exactly what I was doing in there. I've been outside for 15, 20 minutes. I'm all done with what I was doing, and somebody came at me in a threatening gesture, threatening manner. Do you know, do you know who this person was? I got their plate. I don't. I'm recording right now. I I don't have it. You don't have the other the plate number. I mean, I'm not reporting. I'm not reporting any crime. I mean, I don't care. He got sprayed. He asked for it, so he got it. Right, but I'm just trying to determine if what, I, what he did to provoke you. And that's what I'm I just told you. Right. He didn't provoke me. Okay. I somehow provoked him with my camera. You know how the story goes. People don't like it. They get mad. Okay? They come at me, and then I defend myself. Okay. And, but you said you did get a plate number, though? I'm pretty sure I have a plate number. I don't have it right now because I'm recording, and I'm not stopping my recording. I mean, I'm not here. I'm not here to file any charges. I don't care. He didn't put his hands on me. He he went away when I sprayed him. He got in the car and he took off. I don't care. The threat is gone. But I'm not here to spray people, man. Come on. I guess the question is, do you want to provide a statement? Because I don't have any other statement. I mean, the guy threatened me. He came at me. You'll see it on the video tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. As far as that, do your investigation, man. I'm not going to help you investigate something that I had self-defense on. I mean, it's on you to... I mean, I don't know who called. Did it Was it over dispatch? Because I didn't hear it. It might have been happening while that happened. Because I didn't hear anything. Which is fine. I don't care. You, you can come and go as you please all day. I don't... Were there any other witnesses around that saw it? I think he, he, I think he left, one kid. I think that young kid left. He left? Yeah. It was a young kid. Where did it, I I don't, where did it happen? Right here, right in the middle of the... Uh, like, we're literally right here. I think, yeah.
And he was way over there. He came from way over there to me. And I wasn't even recording him. Imagine that. But he's been following me around the building quite a bit. It's like an hour and a half. Yeah, for about an hour now. You mean it was an employee or just some other person? Nah, it's a random. citizen. Just random. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But like I said, I'm not here to press charges. I mean, I don't... I mean, he can criminally threaten me all he wants. As soon as he touches me, though, that's when charges can be filed. Is that when you sprayed him? Did he touch you? Or he just advanced on you? Dude. <laughs> he, he came literally this close to me. Several times. I told him to back off several times. And he kept coming closer. And then he walked away. And then I kind of went this way, not towards him, away. And he came at me again. And several more times. I, I, I told him several times not to come near me. Don't come at me. You're going to get sprayed. I had my spray up. He knew. So he took the chance and he got sprayed. So... He got in a vehicle way down there and he took off. He looked like he was, he's like, you want to see something? And I think he went to go pull his pants down. And I, he was he was a nutcase, man. He was a crazy, he was crazy. <laughs> and was he the operator of the drove or was nope. he a passenger? Passenger. passenger. All right, here one one sec, okay? Yeah, am I detained? You're not detained at this time, but we just gotta figure out what's going on. All right. Well, that means I can free to go then, right? Well, we can figure out what's I'm free going to go, on. right? No. Officer, I'm free to go, correct? Do you have any? Contact? Am I free to go? Yeah. Yes. Do you have Thank any you. Contact information we could give you could give us if we need to get back a hold of you later. Nope. You're the police. You can figure it out. Sir, six oh eight. Six oh eight. Dispatched an ambulance to the PD. The subject that was sprayed is in our uh, front parking lot. Four. If you want to see what I use, I use this. I won't touch it, but yeah. That's not saber red crossfire. Okay. Look at the cameras, dude. These cameras all over the place. Right. They're about by, and all of a sudden. Do you just have? I don't. I don't need your name or anything. Do you have any contact info that way I can just reach out to you in case? We have to follow up or anything? My YouTube channel. You're very familiar with it. You'll find an email on there. Do you have like a phone number that I can reach you? Nope. No. Nope. Alright. You're the police, man. You could you you could find me. Alright, well. You got my, you my man. Just I'm just trying to talk civil with you and, and, and trying to get trying to be Dude, man. yeah. To be I don't know. I'm not gonna to, I'm not gonna incriminate myself, man. You know that. I get that. Uh, and I'm not trying to get you to do that. If I need to contact you, I'm just looking for a way to I can For what? Up. In case whatever he reports is completely at you do. You're going to see the video tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. You'll see the video. I promise you. All your evidence will be right there. You know, I have nothing to hide. You know who I am. I'm not out here to do what I, you know. Nice video, bro. Oh, thanks. Preston H now. Check it out. Like, share, subscribe, Karen. I'll be clear from the state building. I'll be 76 back to the PD. 10 4. Just be advised, the subject has requested the ambulance. Now he's walked out the front door, heading to a vehicle in the lobby. Refusing to give statements, uh, he says he's going to handle it. 10 4. Building. I'm not going to give him what he wants. 10 4, thank you. All right, so you heard there on the scanner. I'm not going to give him what he wants. I'm not looking for anything except for them to protect my rights. In which they did a fairly good job. So I don't know what he's talking about. But we'll wait for him and see how he interacts with me. If you're looking for a video of the request needs to be made to their central office in Montpelier. Uh, he called saying he already had video ready to give us. All right, everybody, so that's gonna be it over here today at the state office building in Springfield, Vermont. Got a little crazy here today. Um, had to pepper spray an individual who several times came at me in a threatening gesture, um, as you saw in the video. Um, police came twice uh, from Springfield Police Department. Um, go check out my other video over at Springfield Town Hall where they got dispatched uh, a few months ago. I'll put the link in the description. Um, the 
State of Vermont Family Services Division uh, refused to give me several business cards and uh, called the police on me uh, for simply recording in a public building. Uh, I think that's going to be it over here today. I appreciate your support. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. Also, check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button, let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England states. Always check the description. All links will be included. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England states. We're going to end it off here. Appreciate your support. Hit that like on your way out. Press on each now. Over and out.